Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so today, uh, I want to talk about uh, yeah. So basically, I think I filmed this, uh, this topic, pre uh before, but I still think this proof inter interesting. So I want to prove it again and uh, maybe use a different method. Okay, in computer science, there's a <clears throat> thing called time hierarchy theorem, and also uh, there's a space hierarchy theorem. Okay. Okay, so I will uh, I will spend time on this uh, on this two today and uh, describe the proof and uh, uh, what 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 is our saying. Okay. Okay, so simply speaking, that the uh, the time hierarchy theorem says that uh, uh, suppose you have f of f n and the g of n, uh, which is a uh, so called time constructible. Okay, so, so you can simply you can simply just say that every function that say log n and log n and square are two to n, that kind of function is always time constructible. Uh, don't worry, I will give explain. I will give the definition. So let's say f of n and g of n are basically two time constructible function, such that uh, f of n and the log f of n is a is a small o of uh, g of n. Okay, so this means that uh, if you use f of n log f of n divided by g of n goes to zero as n goes to infinity, then you can define a d chi. So this is the all the decision problem that you can solve by deterministic Turing machine. D chi f of n is strictly less than uh, d chi g of n. Okay, so let me just write down d chi of n means that uh, all the decision problem, all the decision problem that uh, can be solved by a deterministic Turing machine in a uh, big O of Fn time. Okay. So this means that uh, there are some algorithm that you can, you need to solve. You must solve it n square turn. It cannot be solved by n log n. Uh, yeah, and there is a, so basically, simply speaking that, uh, the d time uh, and log n is strictly less than d time and square and strictly less than d time and cube and keep going. Okay, so also there's a there is there's an algorithm that you can solve into d time and to the less 2.9999999. Okay, so this is the interesting theorem that uh, which prove that if I give you more time, which give you uh, really give you uh, more power to solve more problems. Okay, and uh, okay, so uh, there is also a thing called the space time hierarchy. So the space time hierarchy is a similar as a time hierarchy. So I will not, I, I will just quickly give the proof. Uh, okay. So let's say that, uh, okay, so you can define f of n and g of n if both are space, space constructible. And uh, let's, say, uh, let's say f of n is a small o of g of n. So this means that f of n divided by g of n goes to zero as n goes to infinity. Then the, the space, so these are all the, uh, a deterministic machine which only uses f of n space. f of n is a, sub a strictly subset of a g of n. So these are uh, two important. Uh, these are two important theorems in the uh, in a in a theoretical uh, computer science. Okay. So the proof well using a diagonal dial diagonalization. Technique, which is uh, first are uh, developed by Kinter, which you can prove that the real uh, the real number is not not uh, countable. Uh, I just just you you can just borrow it from the mathematical analysis if you learn some real analysis like routine or apostle that kind of textbook. Okay, but we are deal, de dealing with this proof, right? So this complexity proof is, I think, it's very interesting. Okay, so uh, before we do this, uh, we need a lemma. So this lemma just say uh, this lemma is you know, is uh, related to so called universal Turing machine. Okay, so I will not prove this lemma, but uh, I will say that this lemma is somehow like you you can just you can just remember this lemma. 
Okay, so there, there is this uh, universal Turing machine. There's a U, which can simulate, simulate, let's say you can simulate arbitrary deterministic Turing machine M and the input X. Okay, so somebody give you a Turing machine M and the input X and uh, suppose, let's say, uh, suppose M design and uh, M of X finish. So this means that when you put X into it, then M of X will finish. Will finish, let's say in uh, T time. So let's say uh, M of X finish in T time, then uh, you, won't, you only need O of uh, T log T time. Okay, so or basically one can say that uh, you only need C T log T. Uh, yeah, so this is somehow like the, this is somehow like the, the universal, uh, the universal term machine. And the C is, so C is independent, let's say uh, C is, uh, C is independent of uh, the, the input length and also, M. okay, so if M can finish X in the T time, then universal term machine can use O uh, uh, T log T time. Okay, and also uh, you can prove that you only use the O of T space. Okay. <laughs> okay. So C only uh, depends on, C do not depend on M, M, M X, but define depends on the original Turing machine setting. Let's say how many, how many uh, states that you are allowed, how many alphabets. Okay, that kind of thing. Okay, so uh, once we assume this is correct, then uh, we can prove the, let's say, let's go prove the tie hierarchy. Okay, so the proof uh, goes like follows. Okay. So let's say, as so remember our settings, uh, f of n log f of n is a big, a small o of, let's say, g of n. So let's, uh, let's, okay, so also remember that each Turing machine is, uh, every, so all the set of deterministic Turing machines is countable. So for every Turing machine that you can find the integer which corresponding to this. Okay, so let's say uh, somebody give you alpha, Okay, so you can write, uh, you can label, so alpha is an integer, uh, sorry, let's say alpha is a positive integer, and I can define uh, m of alpha to be some corresponding Turing machine. Okay, so let me define, uh, let's say I may define a language, maybe called L, uh, L of alpha, is that, uh, let's say you run, so you just put m of alpha and run alpha itself, m of alpha holds, so let's say if M of alpha holds, if M of alpha holds, and uh, I'll, I'll put zero, so I'll zero uh, after, uh, after let's say, uh, let's say uh, after G of N steps. Okay, where N is defined to be, let me just, let me just do not write N, write uh, length of the alpha. Okay, so you first, let's say I, I give you the universal term machine, okay? And then you just put your, and this decision language alpha defined to be if M of alpha holds and alpha zero after you. So you just run it with G alpha step. If it holds and alpha zero, then you, then you output one, you output one. Okay, else you output zero. Okay, so this is the decision language. Okay, so the, the, the the, the proof idea is very interesting that uh, so you just claim that uh, L cannot be decided. Cannot, uh, cannot be decides, decided in let's say F of N time by uh, any deterministic Turing machine. Uh, why, why, uh, why this is true? Uh, let's see. Okay, so the, the proof idea is that uh, let's say somebody, let's say somebody give you, let's say somebody give you beta. Okay, let's say uh, somebody give you a Turing machine beta. It's 
deterministic term machine that's right in beta, right? Because beta is some, uh, beta is integer, right? So I can map it into term machine. So in beta, okay. Okay, so somebody gives you a beta. And uh, but there is a, but you can padding with beta, right? So that's, that's padding with beta. So I can padding with, uh, let's say I padding with beta such that uh, that's called beta prime. Beta prime is long enough, it's long enough. Okay, so I haven't explained how I haven't explained how long. Okay, so proof is very interesting. Uh, I can just choose. So I just choose beta prime long enough such that uh, such that uh, I put g of uh, beta prime is greater or equal to some c and uh, r of uh, beta prime log of uh, Sorry, not R, I'm stupid. I use F. F, and no, no, F or beta prime. Okay. So that's, that's, so let's do this. Okay, so I, I choose beta prime. This beta prime represents the same term machine and of beta, but beta prime is uh, long enough. I make, I pair it with one, 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 one. And long enough such that the G of beta prime is strictly greater than C times F beta prime, log F B beta prime. And then this C comes from the universal Turing machine. Okay. Comes from the universal Turing machine that uh, I, 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 I simulate. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's, that's sorry, let me just, so claim L cannot be decided in a C F of N time by any determinant. So C is unconstant. So I should I should maybe put an R C here and let's go C prime. So C prime is the universal train machine. Okay. So now uh so now I claim. So uh, since I want to claim that L did not decide in C and by any term machine. So I want to claim that. So so I want to find, so I need to find I need to find some input beta, beta let's say beta theta, such that uh uh, L of beta theta is always it's difference it's difference from f of it's difference from from this term machine and this, let's say this term that you call the I call this term machine and beta such that they are different from and beta beta theta. This is our goal because I want to prove that there is no such term machine. So I want to define I want to find some beta theta such as input input. This is true. Okay. Uh, then I think there's an obvious proof, right? Just choose, choose beta theta to be beta prime. Okay, so the proof finish, right? Because I, when I choose beta theta to beta prime, that by definition, this m of beta beta prime is m of beta beta prime is the same as m beta prime beta prime. This m of beta prime beta prime will hold or output zero, but this L alpha will, will give you the, will give you negation. So, and I choose this G of beta to be large, to be large as this, to be large as this. So your universal Turing machine simulator will always finish. Uh, will always finish. Uh, be, what, because your 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 L will be decided by your L will be decided by 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 proof by contradiction. Suppose your L is decided by this M beta in a linear time. But as but in this case that uh, this will finish right, so, and I will always output the different results. Okay, so this is by diagonalization that I got the contradiction. Okay, so this is the finish is finished. Okay, and uh, the next is the space the space uh, hierarchy. Oh, so proof is very simple. Uh, just one, just one line. You you can just you just replace the proof in a universal term machine. Use O T space. Okay, so this is why in the, this is why in the original space time hierarchy theorem, I only there's no log f n here. There's only uh only big small o of a g of n. So there's no log f of n because in a universal term machine, you only need f of uh, f f of n space, not f of n log n space. <laughs> Okay, so this is a proof. Just one sentence, just follow the same thing as a uh, universal term machine. Okay, and the next time I will prove the non-deterministic uh, uh, time hierarchy theory. Okay, so uh, see you guys next videos.